betrayal trauma, broken and violated trust. It's really tough, very painful, having the rug ripped out from under you from either finding out or being told about a spouse's addiction or infidelity. It's pretty shattering. It just threatens your whole system, your safety, um, you know, what you believe, um, what you have believed. Is it still true? Is it not? Who you are? Who can you trust? Oh, so many things involved in it. The pain is so intense because it's such a threat to your safety and your security. And there's so much uncertainty of, you know, what is the future going to look like? You know, how can I overcome all this pain and these emotions? And as well as deal with the other things in life, whether it's a job or family or interacting with your spouse and the lies. Like, can you ever trust when there are so many lies or and there have been lies for years and you didn't even know because it was kept hidden a uh, secret when you join worth you will have a safe place to talk about really hard things to share your story the story that is unbelievable not only by yourself like how did i end up here how did this happen and how did i not know um but oftentimes when we share our story with others who haven't experienced betrayal trauma, they don't believe us, or they give us all of this advice that isn't very helpful. In fact, it creates more pain. And so then we go within, go within, and only place to be. And I'm grateful for Worth. It really was a saving grace for me because I did feel very alone. And I have a safe place where I can actually talk about these things. And that is so important for that healing and recovery to be able to create safety for yourself and to be able to have safe communities of support that you can turn to. And if you found that, okay, I can't really share this pain and this trauma that I'm trying to navigate and weave through and figure out and get my feet back on the ground with other people because they just don't understand if you're finding this video helpful or want to help us reach others in need, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really supports our channel. Thank you. And in Worth, you're also going to gain some tools and resources to help you as you navigate your challenges, help you to regulate your emotions and your nervous system, and be able to navigate the thoughts, Ugh. the automatic negative thoughts, the lies that just torment your head. They just spin and spin be able to know what to do with those and how to redirect those to something that's more positive and productive. And if I can give you some hope to know that you're not alone, you are going to be able to heal and recover from this. And it does take time. And when you have tools and a good support system and places of safety for you to go to, then you're going to be able to go from that victim to where you feel like you're just surviving, you're just trying to hang on to thriving um, so that you can, you know, find some joy and peace in your life again. It's okay to invest in yourself, to create some space for you to work on your own healing and recovery. And in fact, it's, it's necessary for you to be able to move through this trauma and to get to the other side and be in a place again where you can have that happiness and that joy and feel good about yourself and others and regain that trust for yourself and where you can find people that you can trust again. So you're in a good place and taking this time for you will be worth it because you will go from where you are, which is probably not in the best place, feeling pretty rough to where you want to be where you can think clearly and you can be motivated and get things done and feel confident and empowered and be able to speak and um, really be authentic and, and remember who you are. So I hope that you will find some peace and love and comfort and safety as you join these worth groups. And I do wish you the best in your healing and recovery and know that you're in good, good company.